All right. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm so excited. It's Thursday morning. Uh, it is my favorite day of the week because I get to start my day with all of these beautiful smiling faces that we have here. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Debbie Morrow. I founded the Real Estate Agent Referral Network and Marketing Tips. And along with my um, partner in crime, uh, Ray Sholseth down there, uh, we host these meetings and do a lot of really cool trainings and stuff for the group. So um, we're we're so happy to have all of you here. Um, we are not going to do any introductions uh, this morning before the speaker because she has a very hard out uh, uh, time. But I have to tell you, um, I met Chantal, um, I don't know, maybe a month or so ago. And um, she showed me this really cool thing that she created. It's a tool, an app um, that allows you to monitor Facebook groups, um, specifically like local Facebook groups, and look for keywords um, that could be something like, I need a realtor. I want to buy a house. I want to sell a house. Any, like you can target those specific phrases and words and have notifications sent to you immediately, almost immediately, when uh, somebody posts about that. So super exciting. Um, Chantal, I'm going to make you, because I have, I've, I haven't done that yet, I don't think, made you a co-host so you can share your screen. Um, I'm going to pin the speaker. So Chantal, um, Please take it away. I'm so excited for everybody to learn what you're doing. Yes. Hi, everyone. Um, thanks so much, Debbie, for having me. Thank you for having me, uh, everybody. I, you'll have to forgive me. I'm not in the real estate realm. So if I if I say something that's not, you know, part of your lingo, you'll have to let me know. I'm more of a tech person and entrepreneur. Um, I founded the company Carly.ai. And Carly, what Debbie was was saying is this uh, software application that we created that's been approved by Facebook to use in Facebook groups. And Facebook group admins like Debbie have installed the app in their group. And once an admin installs the app, it's, it's free to install. So you can actually ask anybody in your neck of the woods, any admin, in your neck of the woods to install the app. Once they install the app, that's when the members of the group can use it. So um, Debbie, I have two things that I can do. I can either take us through sort of a more formal presentation of class-free leads from Facebook groups, or I can actually dive into um, more of a meaty demo of how Carly works. Um, so you tell me what what you would prefer for, from that perspective. I well, think the meaty demo is probably better. Yeah, I agree. Yes. Okay. Excellent. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to share my screen and you guys need to tell me if you see it or you don't. Yes. Okay. Now, again, like Debbie said, I don't have anybody's face. So if anybody has a question, you'll have to like blare it out. Um, I, it's fine to, to ask questions. So this was my pretty demo but I'm not going to go there. <laughs> um, okay. So Carly, as I mentioned, is the, the software that allows you to monitor Facebook groups. Um, Carly so far, just so everybody knows, has been installed in a little over 650 Facebook groups. Um, what that means is, and it's all over the map, um, it's mom and baby groups, it's local community groups, it's groups like Debbie's, the referral network um, here for real estate agents. And when you actually sign up for a Carly account, you're actually, it's very, very, very simple. I'm going to just go like this, move this screen over here. Okay. <clears throat> so when you sign up for Carly, um, you pick a plan. And basically what the plan does is it tells you, hey, how many groups do you want Carly to monitor on your behalf? Uh, and, and then once you tell Carly how many groups to monitor, you can kind of go through this process. It's a four-step process to set it up. 
And in this first step, all Carly is telling you is, hey, you're a group member of these groups. You're a group admin of these groups. And it will tell you where Carly is installed. So you can see that I'm an admin or I'm a, a group member for real estate agent referral network and marketing tips, tips like all of us. And look, Carly's installed here. If it's saying ask the admin to install, let's say you really, really want to monitor a local Facebook group. You'd be surprised. You might think that, that local Facebook group owners are not interested in that. We have an amazing monetization program for admins and we help them earn a consistent income from their groups. And so if you want to have Carly installed in a local Facebook group, all you have to do is ask and I can show you how. Please get in touch with me. Um, I, will, I will walk you through the process. It's very simple. So um, once you do that, in this next step, obviously this is select groups. This is where you're gonna tell Carly what groups you would like to monitor. And so in this case, and all of this, by the way, is uh, specific to your plan. So if you're just monitoring one group, that's fine. You'll select one group. If you're monitoring 25, you can select 25 groups. It's up to you. So as you can see, I'm, I'm in a local Ladera Ranch group um, that I'm monitoring. I'm monitoring our group here, Debbie's group. Um, Boston Business Women, I, I thought I saw somebody was in Boston. This is a fantastic group to monitor. Lots of referrals and recommendations in that group. Things to do in Charlotte. Um, you kind of get the picture. Tustin Moms is a local moms group where I am. Same with uh, Fullerton Buzz, all of those types of things. You can see lots of different groups. Once I select my groups here, I click Next. And this is where you're going to tell Carly, hey, anytime somebody uses this specific keyword, please send me an email alert. And then I'll show you in a second another spot that you can, you can get the information there. Okay. So... Let's pretend for a second you want to get uh, notified anytime somebody says realtor or real estate agent. Now, you got to be careful because in a group like Debbie's, I'm assuming that a lot of people go into the group at first and say, hi, everybody, I'm a real estate agent in fill in the blank for the area. So let's pretend for a second I go into real estate agent. Um, I only want to get notified when somebody says looking for a real estate agent in search of a real estate agent. Um, where can I find, you know, something like this. Um, so what ends up happening is Carly's going to look for any, any mention of real estate agent in a new group post. But if you don't want to get notified unless somebody is saying, hey, everyone, I'm looking for a real estate agent in California, in Orange County, California, or in Denver, Colorado, then what you want to do is you want to put in must include keywords. So what this does is it tells Carly, unless the post includes these phrases, one of these phrases and my main keyword, just ignore it, right? The other thing, I, I usually don't go into must exclude, but let's just pretend for a second, um, you just don't wanna touch a certain area or you, I, you know, I don't know, maybe you don't want anything to do with um, Orange County, California, right? So anytime somebody puts Orange County, you, you just wanna skip that post. You can exclude keywords as well, and Carly will not notify you if, if the post includes those keywords. So you can get pretty granular if you'd like, and uh, you can put in, for now, as many keywords as you wish. Um, one quick thing that I like to add <clears throat> is that if any of you are in local referral networks like BNI groups or uh, LATIP groups or something along those lines, it is typically, what I like to do is talk to each other about sort of doing a referral circle or a power referral circle, right? Because 
if you're in a local group and somebody says, can anyone recommend a real estate agent? And you raise your hand and you say, yeah, I'd love to help you. And you, you like their post, you tag them in the post, you respond in a meaningful way, you send them a direct message. Um, that's all wonderful. But just imagine if your BNI group, where the entire purpose of this group is to refer each other, the local mortgage broker says, hey, I recommend Debbie, right? Um, and the plumber in your group and the lawyer in your group and maybe five other people in the group all say, Debbie, 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 Debbie. That is a lot more powerful than just you raising your hand and saying, hey, I'd love to help you. Now, I want you to do that. I want you to raise your hand and say, I'd love to help you. But if you've got a referral circle, if you've got sort of this <clears throat> built-in networking group, use it. And then you guys can refer one another. Let's say there is a lawyer in the group. You could put lawyer in, in your uh, keywords and refer your lawyer person. Imagine how much goodwill you're building with your BNI group if you bring this to the network, right? So keywords are important. I'll, I'll stop there. If anybody has trouble setting up keywords, I'm happy to help. This is um, going to take you five minutes. It's no big deal. Then you click next. And here's where you tell Carly uh, what email we should notify you at, at, at and also how often. So for me, my email is Chantal at Carly.ai. Okay, so that's where it's going. But let's say I have an assistant and I want the assistant to also get the email notification because I don't have time to respond to every single one of these posts. Great. Then just put in your assistant's email, assistant's email here. Chantal, right. can I ask a question? Yeah, please. <clears throat> is there a limit to how many emails can be in there? For now, there is not, but there will be, um, because we know that this is eventually going to be taken to the extreme. So we will we will limit it initially. Um, but so if one person in a BNI group had Carly, they could put everybody's email in their BNI group. For and now, search. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For now, that's exactly right. So um, yeah, it, eventually, just so you know, Debbie, the reason why we'll limit it is because there's an expense to sending emails on the back end. So eventually we'll limit it. Um, but for now, there's no limit. So you can do it. Um, the next thing that I just want to warn you, if you put every five minutes oh and you're God. in very active groups, you are going to get an email every five minutes. Um, so be careful with this. I would put it at every five minutes um, at first. And the reason is speed to lead is really important in real estate. There's a lot of agents that are competing for one lead, right? So if you can get the 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 get to the lead first, the speed to lead makes a difference. So for the timing, I would say, you know, make sure that you send an email every 5 minutes. So if Carly detects a post within a five minute time frame, then you'll get an email. If there is no post, you're not gonna get an email. It's not just gonna be a blank email for you. So don't worry about that. The other thing is, is that you can select your time zone and then you can say, hey, I just don't want notifications after you know 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific or before, you know, 6 a.m. Uh, you know Pacific Standard. So it's up to you how often and how many people you want to send notifications to. Now, then you hit save and this is set up. You can either not go into Carly again um, and uh, just work from your email account, your email inbox, because you will get those emails that will come in for you. Or what I like to do is just put in a tab here in my, my internet uh, browser window. And you can see that this says, I'm planning to, let's just pretend that this was a lead here. Here we go. I'm looking to refer a buyer in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Any agents here that serve that area? Well, that'd be a good one <laughs> if I was in that area. So what I would do, what Carly's telling you is, it has detected recommend and buyer 
in this main post, but it actually also monitors comments. And it, the purple ones are comments. So the comments have also included refer and buyer. Just so you know, this is not a, a mistake. Buyer is in the comments and buyer is in the uh, top main post. So if I wanted to comment on this, I would click on it. Carly would take me right to Facebook, right to the group and right to the post. So now I can like this post. I can comment on the post and I can direct message this person. Now, this is super, in, super important. Do you see how this person right here, and I'm not trying to call anybody out, but I just want to share with you something. This person says, I'd be glad to help and gives a phone number. That's wonderful. But if I were to do it, it would be a little more like this top contributor. And here's why. He has tagged the original poster. So now the original poster is going to get a notification in Facebook saying that somebody has commented on your post. So that draws attention. Number two, he's telling him what sets him apart. Uh, they have an excellent local team and they've helped 325 families last year. Unfortunately, he doesn't include a, a link to a website. It's here. But you have to you have to click on this and and then I cannot click on this link. So one thing I would do to improve this is I would put my link to my website. I would put my link to my actual email because people are working from their mobile devices on Facebook. You don't want them to have to pull up a picture. Mm -hmm. Write down what the email is because you can't even copy this. You cannot copy this at all. So, hey, Chantel, write, it's Ray. Yeah, Can please. I jump in real quick? Yeah, absolutely. So, a lot of us that own Facebook groups have it automatically set up to flag links that are posted or don't allow links at all. Do you have any comment or any suggestions for that? Because that is something that, like for Debbie and I, cumulatively, we have 32 Facebook groups, right? It's a lot to manage and there's a lot of spam happening in those groups. So how do we protect both our members and our time from policing all these guys while still giving something clickable for the mobile user like you're suggesting? It's a great question. And and this is where, you know, we're, get, we're gonna get a little bit into the nuances of working with the Facebook group admin. But when Carly works with the Facebook group admin, the admin is allowed to share their promotional packages. And the promotional package is purchased by this person. So let's just pretend he has actually purchased a package from you. You can make him uh, an approved member, right? Like he can have an approval, uh, like you can make it so that he's approved, that his posts are approved, and that you don't have to police him as much, right? Or um, if you don't allow any links at all, and that's okay, I get it. This group is 250, 60,000 people. Um, what I would do then is this is why this guy is probably putting an image here instead of um, some kind of a, uh, a link. Then you're going to have to DM this person and say, hey, I saw your post. I'd love to help you. Here's my information. Now, the reason why I always say share your link, because I think we all here have used Facebook groups over and over and over again, there is a certain number of people that are always going to post this as a brand new post, no matter what. It doesn't matter how many times somebody has looked for a buyer in Spartanburg, South Carolina, they're gonna put it up there. However, there is a we don't know what the percentage is, but there's a, a large percentage of people that is just that are just going to search South Carolina, right? And they're going to go into old posts. Now, Facebook does not put these in any type of order, right? If you wanted to see this in chronological order, you'd have to put most recent. Facebook doesn't really do a great job of showing you search results, but um, here's that search result right here. Some people are just going to search old posts. So if now I'm somebody six months down the line, three months down the line, whatever the case may be, 
and I'm searching for um, somebody, an agent in, in Spartanburg, South Carolina, I might look at old posts first. And if I've done that, the ones that are gonna stand out are the ones that really took some time to respond appropriately in a way that connected with me, right? And also don't forget the people who have BNI groups or the people that have power referral circles, right? Those are the people that are gonna get recommended multiple times and those people stand out in those search uh, in those searches. Um, so that's how this works. There are some other, I, obviously you can see that there are more things here. Um, for promotional posts, Debbie has a promo package. I think you guys have a promo package in uh, the referral group. Carly, actually, we just got this. Um, <clears throat> you can schedule posts into Facebook groups. Now, this does not mean that you skip the line for post approvals. It doesn't mean that you um, get approved regardless of anything. It literally means that you still have to abide by all the Facebook group rules, 100%, right? Um, and if you're a paid member, you can, I don't know if maybe in your group you put hashtag approved business or something like that. You still have to abide by all of these rules, but you can schedule your posts, right? Chantel, so, can I ask you a question about this? Yes. Yeah, please. Can you schedule it from your personal profile or only business profile or pages? No, only personal profile. Facebook awesome. does not allow uh, business. Unfortunately, there are some businesses where it would make a lot of sense to be able to schedule this into groups. Facebook does not allow that. We, no, we personal are, is so much better. I love it. Oh, good. Okay, great. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, you would select all the groups that you're interested in posting into, write your post like you normally would. Um, I have a caveat for you guys. Um, please use an image in your post. And the reason is, is because, and make it bright and vibrant or whatever it is, right? Use an image in, in your pre-scheduled post because the Facebook API does not allow us to have that colored background to draw attention, right? So if you're gonna schedule your posts and you wanted that color background, I strongly recommend using an attention grabbing image in your posts, right? You can still use emojis. Um, this is a little bit, this isn't something I'm gonna go into, but it's spin tax. It's just because if you, if you had 10 or 20 or 30 different groups that you're scheduling something into, um, you maybe don't want it to sound exactly the same. And so you would put hi, hey, hello, hiya, right? And and the spin tax would, would automatically pick a random uh, keyword for your post. That's advanced and that's for really a lot of groups, but that's available. But here's the cool thing. so. Let's say you have an open house and you are uh, trying to get people to the open house and you're scheduling your post into your local, for me, Irvine Moms or Mission Viejo Connection. And uh, my open house is on a Saturday. And so what I wanna do is on Thursday, Friday and Saturday at this time, I want to say, hey guys, I'm having an open house and and we're also having, you know, cotton candy, bring the kids, you know, whatever it is. Um, so I can actually schedule my drip campaign, right? Like I can put in a post on Thursday reminding people and then on Friday reminding people and then an hour before it on Saturday and then at the time on Saturday. So I don't have to show up in three different groups to post my post every single time I want to remind somebody, right? Then you just hit save and Carly makes that happen for you. So I know that was a lot. Um, and if anybody has any questions really quickly, I'm, I'm happy to answer them. I have a hard stop and it's really just because I have to get my kids to school. <laughs> yeah, They're I being... have a question. Yeah. Well, two questions. One real quick. Um, this work for workplace groups or literally just Facebook? Oh, great question. Yeah, for now, um, this is Facebook groups. 
we are going to go into WhatsApp, Slack, Reddit, communities um, eventually. But yes, this is Facebook um, for now. Okay. And then secondly, um, and I think Charles just kind of ran into this and that's why I was also thinking. So Debbie's group obviously has this installed. I'm assuming Debbie installed it at one point. So if I want to take advantage of that, I would sign up and I would put the group, but it looks like Charles tried to do that and it's still asking for the admin to install it. And I, so I, I just wondered with other groups, if somebody's already got the software there, can I automatically latch onto it or will that admin still be contacted again? No, so Debbie, you have your link with your landing page. I didn't put any link on purpose there. So no, I, I think what she's saying is Charles said he signed up and then he he searched for our group. But Charles, I think you searched R-E-A-R-N, which is a private group um, that is not our group. So you have to search for well, real yes, estate I'm, agent. I, I, I see real estate agent referral network and marketing tips. And it says, ask the admin to install. Is there a different group I should be? Um... Oh, Charles, did you? So, um, so can you can you send it to me? Because you saw it on my screen. It's definitely installed in mine. Okay, but yeah. And what do you want? I can, I mean, I could share my screen. And and one more thing, um, Chantel, on your sign up on the initial page, Carly.ai, there's a box to um enter your information. I keep getting an error message on the phone number. It won't let me put in a phone number no matter what format I use. Yeah, so we want to make sure that everybody goes to Debbie's landing page, oh. number one. Debbie, do you have your landing page available? Yeah, I put it in the in the chat quite a few times. Okay, uh, great. Signed, that's the link I clicked to sign up, and then I logged in, and I'm in right now. It's showing me my the, ad, the groups for which I'm an admin, and then it shows me the groups for which I'm a group member. And the, the second group I see is real estate agent referral network and marketing tips, and it says ask the admin to install. How long have you been a part of the group for a very long time? I'm sorry. But has, yeah, has been, been, it's got to be at least a year, Debbie. I mean, I've been coming yeah, for okay. a long time. Yeah, that's good. And then are you sure you signed up? The profile that you signed up for with Carly is the profile that's, that is also in the group itself. I, I would believe so because, I mean, I, 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 I signed up using Facebook as my login. Okay. So I had my personal email address in there. And I see the group, and it just says, ask the admin to install. And then when I click on select groups, um, I do see real estate agent referral network and marketing tips in there, and I turned it on. Um, Perfect. Then so. that works. There there must be some kind of glitch there in, in your account. So it, if you were able to turn it on, it absolutely is monitoring. Okay. Either way, Charles, I'll work with you offline. If yeah, there's any you know, issue. I mean, because I just got to say, I've been looking for something like this for forever. So, uh, you know, if if you know, if you, uh, I'll share my phone number. My phone number is already in the chat, but I would love to work with you because I'm all in. I I want this very badly. So, um, I know you got to get to school for your children. So, just if you could contact me afterwards, and you know, I'll get other admins and other groups to sign up too to to use this. So yeah, let's just speak afterwards. I know you got yeah, to go. absolutely. And then I'm I my phone number put, in the chat right now. I put um, Danielle because she's available right now. My our client success manager is Danielle, and so okay. she is. Uh, if you want to just email her right now, she's available while I'm off to get my kids okay. to. I'll, I'll email her right now. Ask her to give me a call. Lovely. Okay, so it's so great to meet everyone. Thank you for your time. Debbie, thank you for your time. Um, if there's anything else anybody needs, email Danielle in the meantime, or this is my email. I'm putting it in the chat as well. Okay, yeah, Chantel. Thank you so much. <laughs> bye bye, thank everyone. Thank you very much. Thank Chantel. you. Bye. Yeah, we appreciate your time. Go, go get those kiddos to school so they're not tardy. <laughs> thank, thank you so you. much, Chantel. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right, guys. So, um, I see so much value in what that can do um, with you guys monitoring. Uh, Steven's shaking his head. Yes. Like there's so many things that you can monitor, whether it's, um, you know, the, the local groups or our group, you know, you could put in your town and monitor, you know, anyone searching for a realtor in your town so that, you know, and you you guys all know our group is so big that 
those posts get pounced on really quickly. So, you know, getting a notification within five minutes of when it's uh, been posted is, is super key. So um, I'm going to drop the link in the chat one more time so you guys can go. I, I do believe you can't, I can't swear to this, but I do believe that there's a two week free trial might be just a week, but I do believe that there's a, a free trial. Charles, do you remember when you signed up, was there a free trial period? You're muted, honey. Charles, you're muted. I didn't see a two week free trial. I did click the link to sign up because I couldn't find the sign up link on the regular website. I clicked on your link and that's how I signed up. I didn't see a two week free trial, but maybe I just missed it. I was so eager to sign up. I just went ahead and did it. Yeah. I, okay. So don't, don't hold me to that. I, I don't, I, I can't swear that there is, but I thought I had seen a, a free trial. Anyhow, um, all right, you guys. So um, anybody have, no, no, you know what? Don't ask me questions because um, I've only installed it in the group. Um, I haven't actually um, toyed around with it yet myself, uh, but um, the reaching out to Danielle and she's very uh, quick to respond. Or Chantal, either one of them after the call is uh, probably a, a great thing to do. So I am going to stop the recording. Here we go.